It's the Ford Summer Spectacular featuring blockbuster deals at Kokomo Auto World. We have a large inventory of brand new 2013s and must make room for the new 2014s. Right now, take up to $12,000 off any new F-150. Or drive home in a new award-winning Ford Focus and pay no interest for 60 months. Plus, get $1,500 bonus cash. Your best deals always at Kokomo Auto World. Or visit us 24-7 at KokomoAutoWorld.com. Hi, I'm Samantha Tiki with KPTV. I'm here today with Daryl Blasius. He is the Co Taste of Kokomo chairman, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the event taking place this Saturday from 5 to 11 at Foster Park. So tell me about this lovely smelling food that you have in front oh, of me. Well, Half Moon, uh, and they have been our uh, number one restaurant the last two years in a row. They've uh, given us some samples here to bring out to you guys. We have, and this is all the stuff they're going to head down at the Taste of Kokomo. They have got their barbecued ribs. They've got their steak on the stick. They've got a beef brisket and pulled pork and some sauce to put on that. Oh. All that, and, and the aroma in this room is just it's out a, of this it's world. It's a smaller it's, room and it's it's intoxicating. It's, it's intoxicating, it's, right? Um, so they they got all of that there for us to to bring down and. Um, like I said, you know, it speaks for itself, you know, on, on that. Uh, they've been with the, the taste for the last uh, about five years since they've been in business. So we really appreciate that. And then we have Culver's. Uh, they've been in the taste every year also. And they they have some uh, double strawberry ice cream. Oh. we got the butter pecan. And, of course, we have to have the turtle because the turtle Definitely. is what they're known for. Oh, you yes. Know. yes. Um, they're in it, and um, that's just two of our 26 restaurants that we have in the Taste of Kokomo this year. And so what is your job with the Taste of Kokomo? Um, I really go out and I talk to all the restaurants and get them to become part of the Taste of Kokomo. So you're a busy guy all year round? I, it, it keeps me busy all the time, because I do. I, I go to these restaurants on a regular basis. Uh, just to keep my rapport up with them because you know it's they do a lot for us uh, uh, not just the taste of Kokomo they are helping us year-round with different events such as a give back day Applebee's uh, is a good example of that the second Tuesday of every month is a give back day to United Way you know and um, we've got um, Bob Evans his first Friday of every month you know, so these are some of the examples of how they help us. Or, or during the campaign, they'll do one special night, and all of the proceeds are going to United Way. So I'm constantly out there keeping in touch, and I have been actually the restaurant chair for about five years in a row for the Taste of Kokomo. So, you know, they feel confident when I come in, I'm talking to them. It's the same person they're talking to mm -hmm. every year about this. Now, but this year is so exciting because this year is our first year to be in Foster Park. Yes. So everything changed, you know. But you know what? As I'm talking to these people, they're so excited. They go, oh, well, we got to be a part of this then. So we actually have... Uh, really, there's around about 35 restaurants that are involved with the Taste of Kokomo, whether they're in one of the tents around that are serving the, their, their specialties, or we have a number of them that's under our big tent where we're doing special events. Like, uh, we have six restaurants that are involved that are, who has the best Coney Dog in town? I, the Coney Dog Throwdown. Is the Coney called. Dog yes. Throwdown. Yes. I mean, and, and we had to limit it to how many people, how many restaurants we could get into that. So we've got it down to six restaurants in it. And the the challenge was Beth and I had to go out and sample all of these. Somebody had to do it, you, you know. know. rough job. <laughs> a rough job, but somebody did it. You know, and we do. We have, um, we have got Jamie's Soda Fountain in for that. We have got Yogi's in there. We have got Harvey Hinkelmeyer is in there. Um, we have got... Um, and the Cone Palace is in there. So all of these just trying to be, and of course Parker's B&K is going to be in there also. Of course. So all of those, So and, and under the Big Tent, this is just one of those events. And it's uh, we have a panel of judges, mm -hmm. plus the public can also get involved mm -hmm. and purchase ticket, get that in there, and they can sample all of these, and they can get a people's choice on who has the best Coney Dog. So it's really a fun thing. And then we have a pie eating yes, contest. Yes, that was my next question. So, Tell us a little bit about the pie eating contest. That's, I would love to be able to do that, but you know. <laughs> oh, you can. Um, we won't stop you. Well. Uh, it's, it's blackberry pie. Oh, my goodness. And best pie. who can eat that? I mean, it just... 
eating that fast, you know. And uh, we can still, we still have some time for, if you haven't uh, signed up for that yet, you can call the United Way office at 457-6691 and you can get in on that. So that's another one. We have a wing eating contest. That too. Now that there... That's really a hot thing. Uh, you wear like a poncho to that because wing sauce will you know, fly over And we have Chrissy Boyd. She's back this year. She was our winner last year. Oh, okay. But this year we're doing the sauce and the wings are with Mulligans. They're furnishing it for us this year. And their sauce is called the Death Sauce. Yes. And she said <laughs> she's up for funny. the competition. Oh, wow. Well, I'll have so. to talk to her after the the, uh, the contest then and yeah. see how she's doing. Yes. Now, who, who's sponsoring the pies? Who's making them? That is Mom's Homemade Pies oh. that out there on South of okay. Street. Yeah. Yeah, they're in on that. They wanted to be a part of this, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is what's exciting. You know, this is an event for you to come downtown with the whole family. Because this year, being in Foster Park, there isn't any kind of a charge to come in. Just come on in. And join in in the taste of Kokomo. You'll get a walk around and smell all the foods, taste all these different uh, specialties. Because that's what the taste is all about: is is exposing all of these small little I call mom and pop places that are here in town. You know, because maybe you don't drive down 17th Street, so you don't know where the Giro place is. Or you're really in, when you're on Markland, you're driving too fast to see Getz Tacos off to the side. Mm -hmm. So we've got to, this here. They can really uh, pronounce themselves in the Taste of Kokomo and let you know where they're at and what they have. So you'll want to come and join them at their, in a meal at their place during the regular time. So yeah. this is what this is about. And it sounds like a great way to promote local businesses, but it's also benefiting the United Way of Howard County. Yes. This is our largest fundraiser for United Way. And um, so uh, all this money will be going back to United Way here in Howard County. So again, walk around, sample these foods. We do have a beer garden in the center of that. And um, with us, you can actually go in the beer garden, get you a, a glass of wine, and you can walk around and eat and drink in our area all night long. I mean, it's just a fun event. The most expensive thing on our menu is $5. So see, it's affordable for everybody. And it's for the whole family. And it's for the whole family. So, so come out, uh, compete in the hot wing contest, and wash it down with some beers from the beer garden. There we go. <laughs> we have a nice kids section, which is larger than it has been in the past, with uh, jumping uh, houses in there. And then, to top it all off, you know, we're talking about tastes of Kokomo with our restaurants, with our food, with the kids area. And then to have low cash cowboys as our group for the night. Now, how can you top that off? You know, I don't think you can. So I, don't think you can. <laughs> I really feel that this will be the greatest and the best taste we've ever I, had here in Kokomo. I think it'll be one to try to top for years to come. So make sure you head out to Foster Park this Saturday, August seventeenth, from five to eleven p.m. and enjoy the taste of Kokomo. For KPTV, I'm Samantha Tiki.